the 2020 election, our local grassroots partners were the ones who were risking their health and their lives engaging voters who were facing tremendous barriers to voting. It was their tireless work. They risked their own health during a pandemic and they organized their own communities as trusted messengers, contacting tens of millions of black voters, Latinx voters, Asian voters, indigenous voters, Muslim voters, young voters. We really have built this movement together and we could not have gotten as a country this level of historic voter turnout without this work. Mr. Biden is the winner of the state of Pennsylvania. There's really been that blue shift here in this key battleground state. Biden has done what no other Democratic candidate has been able to do in some 28 years, turn Georgia blue. Biden flips the state that hadn't voted for a Democrat since 1996 for president. Former Vice President Joe Biden has been elected president of the United States. Best day of my life, best day of the year, best way to conclude 2020. At Movement Voter Project, we know that this movement is bigger than any election, even the most important election of our lifetimes. And the job's not done. We can't ever forget how close we came to losing our democracy and to losing the soul of our country. Our work after Election Day is to make sure that our issues and that our values are being prioritized. We have to keep pushing for progressive candidates at the local, state, and national level. If we want the next decade to really be a progressive decade, then we need to double down on what's working. MVP has invested in grassroots groups with deep, long-term connections to the communities they work in. Movement Voter Project recognizes the importance of movements building deep relationships in communities. That value-based Clarity is something that for us it's like, okay, these are people that we could work with. Our partner organizations are led by people who live there, who work there, who raise their families there. And that's why when they engage voters, they know what they're talking about. They know what's best for their communities because they are from those communities. Building messaging with our people, building campaigns with our people, making sure that it is us, young people and immigrant families that are talking to young people and immigrant families. And that's why we've been effective is because we're not outsiders coming into our neighborhood. We are in the neighborhood and these are our families. Movement Voter Project is one of the largest grassroots funders in the country. Collectively, we moved over $100 million to support over 600 groups in 42 states. 281 of those groups were in 18 of the top battleground states, including Arizona, Pennsylvania, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Georgia, Florida. 69 of the groups that we partnered with in those battleground states were either brand new groups or they'd never done any voter engagement work before. We help them get their start. We help them do election work for the very first time. Registering voters, making voter guides, making phone calls, getting people to the polls when it really mattered. Together, our local partners reached out to tens of millions of voters. And these are mostly young voters and voters in communities of color who are facing immense barriers to voting. We're organizing primarily Latinx families here, immigrant families and non-immigrant families, mixed status families. Families of people serving life sentences, prison sentence period, and also ex-offenders like myself. We are an organization that has been operating on the Navajo Nation for the past 30 years. Black folks here can make or break an election. There's enough of us that can close a close race. Creating a space that is both Black-led and Black-centered is a necessity to be seen. Their outreach helped us get historic voter turnout in key districts. In Arizona, our partners at Living United for Change in Arizona made more than 2.6 million calls to voters, knocked on nearly 42,000 doors, held 50 virtual community events. Arizona was decided by 10,000 votes. In Wisconsin, our partners at Leaders Igniting Transformation Action Fund made 1.2 million calls, reached 2.8 million in ads targeting young voters of color, distributed more than 74,000 voter guides. Wisconsin was decided by 20,000 votes. 
Pennsylvania, where the margins are razor thin, one hood reached out to more than 500,000 low propensity voters in black communities. And they actually led the entire early vote strategy in Western Pennsylvania, in a state that had never voted early before. At MVP, the funding we provide is used to create and maintain the infrastructure necessary for continued voter engagement. That includes access to voter technology, text messaging systems, capacity building programs on every single level. It also includes maintaining staff. It includes training and it includes building leaders. The bandwidth, I mean, that MVP provides is considerable. The databases of voter contact to the various applications, the software that we can use, there's a whole many of them. The technical assistance from MVP is, is particularly helpful. The, the support from MVP has been critical to our work. That is invaluable, to be able to have the resources and the funding that we need to do tactics that are a little bit different, like putting murals in a neighborhood or doing art jobs. With the resource that Movement Voter Project gave us, I was able to hire someone in Harrisburg so that I could organize in my community here. That, you know, really helped us. You know, we were able to free up some resource so that I don't have to be there, and then we can build our committee here. Lucha is in four counties covering over four million people. That's not possible without investment from entities like Moving Boulder Project. Without the investment, we would have never been able to reach our entire state. So MVP is our biggest supporter. I was able to leave my organization to actually do this full time. Because it's not just about financial support. It's about investing in and developing new leaders. It's about trusting black people, trusting indigenous people, communities of color, Latinx people. It's about trusting them to be the leaders they want to see and investing in them. Investing in their organizing work in a way that's making the world better for all of us. We are deeply grateful because not only are these dollars helping us win these elections and change the landscape in this state, what these dollars are also doing is building leaders. Leaders that are going to stay and fight in the work. You're investing in a dream and then it's up to us to make that dream happen. And that's the best part. Movement Voter Project isn't a typical funder with an endowment. We are also a grassroots group, and we're raising money in a real grassroots way for local organizations in states across the country because we know this is the most effective strategy to win a better future for all of us. And we could not have done this without our donors. We need everyone who supports MVP to continue to support with your investment and your resources. We are out here trying to do deep base building, organizing, and power building that will not withstand 2020, but will start looking at 2030. And more importantly, how we can build a sustained movement with teeth that could push back and fight. We just won the most important election of our lifetime. Now we have to build on that success, to keep investing in people, keep supporting new leaders, and keep building the progressive decade to come. Find out more at movement.vote.